Wow, Jared, the real big baby Anderson, gets tested for the first time in his career against former IBF titleist Charles Martin. This fight, early going, seemed to be a routine fight for Jared Anderson. Jared Anderson was landing whatever he wanted in the first two rounds. In round three, he switched to softball, and he landed a perfect counter right hook. In the tail end of the round, Charles Martin was on the ropes, and he goes down. He gets up immediately, didn't seem that much hurt. Round ends. Round four was another good round for Jared Anderson. Then round five, all types of disasters hit for Jared Anderson top rank. He gets hurt badly in round five. Badly. He barely makes it out of that round. He was holding on. Charles Martin was hitting him with anything he wanted. And he, Jared Anderson's legs completely went. But he managed to show real heart, a good chin. He took lots of punishment on five. And in round six, he adjusted. He followed the jab. He won that round. In round seven, he seemed to be fully recovered. Round eight, round nine were routine rounds for Anderson. But then in round 10, again, in the tail end of the round, Anderson got hurt really badly. What I see from Anderson, he is a prodigy, but only an offensive prodigy. I don't see a guy who's defensively any good because he's not that big. He can't just like lean back, have his jab out there like a Vladimir Klitschko or Tyson Fury. He's not that type of size. He's six foot three, six foot four. Like Charles Martin, who's six foot five, was considerably bigger than him. We saw that Martin was bigger than him. So I don't know. That's my thoughts about the fight. Give me your thoughts in the comment section below. Like and subscribe to the video and Steve Boxing out.